So today I would like to walk through some of the big changes in ProVar 2.1, which includes some exciting new features as well as Summer 20 compatibility updates. In ProVar 2.1, we have introduced enhanced support for testing web components and Lightning web components. This additional support will make it much easier to reliably test these components, whereas in the past, traditional locators have been flaky, regardless of the testing framework that you're using. It's worth noting that we have created our own unique library to better support the testing of these components in 2.1. Previously, the primary challenge was targeting web components using XPass that were nested within the Shadow DOM. Now, you can think of the Shadow DOM as being a hidden scoped subtree inside of a web page. This library will allow Provar tests to more reliably locate and interact with web components and Lightning web components that reside within this Shadow DOM. Additionally, Provar has added a new by JavaScript locator where we are unable to generate a unique XPath locator. This is essentially a CSS selector that penetrates through the shadow root. This query locator is more robust than the shadow path generated by the LWC shadow path generator Chrome extension, for those of you familiar with that. We have defined these new features as beta for now and we're going to continually provide more improvements and usability enhancements to this functionality in future releases. In the meantime, however, we do welcome and appreciate your feedback while we continuously work to make testing Salesforce easier. What I wanna do now, however, is show you how we can work with Lightning Web Components. So I'm going to go to this account that I've added to this opportunity. On this account screen, there's a number of different Lightning Web Components that I can use for my test. So I'll just show you some integrations with some of those, how we can map those. So for instance, here is a simple text entry field. So I'm gonna right click and add that to my test case here. So by default, it, it's going to set it to the label. However, we don't recommend using labels in general with Lightning Web Components. So instead, we actually do provide an X path that you can use, which will take advantage of penetrating the shadow root and work within Lightning Web Components. So now all I need to do is set the value here, just to demonstrate this field is mapping correctly. Perfect. So I'll show an interaction with another field just so you can see how this works. So for example, I'm gonna to add to the search field here. Again, this is a Lightning Web Component. So Provar does provide the XPath for me here. However, I can also use the by JavaScript locator that I mentioned previously. So the, the primary difference between using the XPath and the by JavaScript locator is that for instance, if the XPath finds multiple fields, then it may be best to use the JavaScript locator so that way you're finding a unique field for your mapping. For this particular field, the XPath will work fine that Provar provides. And I'll provide a value here just to populate this search field. And then from here, I'm going to add the search button as well to demonstrate this. And we see the list has been populated with the search results. If I wanted to, I can add some additional assertions here to make sure that this list is populated correctly. For instance, I can assert the first value and the last value, or maybe one in the middle here. But for now, I'm gonna leave that as it is. And I'll show you how you can work with the JavaScript locators. So back at the top of my page here, if I add this filter to my test case, Again, we'll notice that there are actually multiple matches by the default here if we use a label. So again, what I wanna do is I wanna use the JavaScript locator. So for those of you that are familiar with the LWC Shadow Path Generator Chrome extension, this is similar to what will be generated by that extension for Lightning Web Components and Web Components outside of Salesforce. However, we do recommend using the JavaScript locator provided by Provar because it is going to be more robust in most cases. So I'll select that there and we'll see that there is now only one indicator on the page showing that this field is being mapped correctly. And again, I'm just going to put a test value in here.
Great, so we can see the fields being mapped correctly using the JavaScript locator and the XPath locator provided by Provar, even on Lightning Web Components in the Summer 20 release. So I'll add the filter here as well, just to show you one more time how you can do that. I'll change this to the JavaScript locator here, and I'll add and do to click this button. Perfect, so we see the filter value has been submitted. So this is just a brief example of how you can take advantage of some of the 2.1 features regards to Lightning Web Components.